Hi everybody, short video, very short video today just to talk about expanding your range and also developing your sound on those valves. A lot of people ask me uh, when I play with a valve it has a different timbre, a different sound, a different color and often it is more closed and it's hard to develop the sound. This is because playing with the valve and not with the valve is not just about adding tube length but it's also adding corners and it's also adding resistance. So here's a short exercise that you can do. As you know, I'm a big fan of lip bending and the first exercise is going to be just that. So. and second with the vowel. And really exaggerate the notes, really like go really in the middle of the tone, in the center of the note, really expand it. It's okay if it's louder, you really want to play that note as full as possible, even if that means going a little bit loud. Obviously not such an accent, I don't want like... This doesn't work, you know, like keep it, keep it smooth, but you know, go into it and play a good mezzo forte, even a forte, something, a very healthy sound. And try to, um, in your mind, try to close your eyes when you're doing this exercise and really notice the feeling that you have when you're bending and when you're just adding the trigger, the, the valve. Um, we're talking about the F valve right now, I'm not talking about all the other bass trombone valves, the hundred millions of valves. Uh, no, just the first valve, the, the F valve, F attachment valve on the tenor trombone or on the normal, uh, or on the bass trombone, sorry. Um, then what we want to do is also to expand the range with that valve. So before doing flexibilities with the valves, which I will talk about in another video, um, uh, let's, do, let, let's go from higher up. You know, I always say range, good range is being able to play high and low in a musical context. So uh, playing just the, when you're working on those valve notes and on the low register in general, be aware that you have to come from up top. So now we just did B flat F, let's go up. So etc etc. Again, first time bending, second time not bending. Let's continue. Etc. Uh, let's continue to the D. Etc. Etc. I'm not going to do all of it because otherwise it's going to be a very long video. I want it to be as short as possible, give you all the examples, and then. Uh, you can apply it. I'll write them down in next week's written videos, uh, written exercises. Now starting on the F. And then starting on the B flat. etc. Then what you can do is expand um, on the other side, on the bass side. So first again with no valves and then adding the valve. etc. Et 
etc. And then to the pedals. And, and then going up and expanding down, sorry, so now we started on the B flat, we start on the F. starting on the B flat and then going up again to the high B flat and down and then doing the same thing but expanding down to the pedal notes um, so and then to the sub pedal notes Okay, so you can do this on bass trombone, you can also do this on tenor trombone, you can also do this on euphonium, on tuba, take it up an octave and do it on trumpet. These are really useful exercises. If you've enjoyed this exercise, please subscribe to my channel. It tells me, hey, I'm enjoying your content, I want to hear more. Also, if you have any questions or any subjects that you would like us to dig in more in more details, please send me an email. This is my email address. And finally, uh, if you would like to receive free exercises, free etudes and free solos directly in your inbox, I send them every week, or at least I try to send them every week. It's, everything is free, there's no strings attached, you can unsubscribe anytime you want. Uh, subscribe to my newsletter, this is my newsletter. Um, a link I will put it in the description for this video you'll get free exercises free resources uh, free tips uh, I, I don't send too many emails because I don't want to spam your inbox so I keep it to maximum one sometimes two emails per week but usually one per week and you get all those free exercises you get free etudes you you can also participate in little etude contests by sending me your um, your etudes and winning prizes. Prizes vary. Uh, usually it will be a free commissioned piece for you. So if you're a student or if you want to play a recital or a concert, have a piece written specially for you. I used to be uh, a compos com composer in residence for the Conservatoire in Paris, the Superior Conservatoire of Paris. Um, this was not for free, uh, but now I'm doing this for free because I, I really enjoy it. Um, and I want to I want to give out as much value. I want you to have pleasure playing and get new material, new repertoire. And I know that it's not easily accessible to get pieces written for yourself. So what you want what you have to do if you want a piece specially written for you, just send me one of the etudes that I have sent. Uh, either a video or an audio clip. I prefer video. And uh, if maybe you'll be chosen to get one of those free pieces, we will have a little chat, you and me, and we will decide on the style, on the, on the difficulty, etc., etc. So take advantage of this, send me an email, subscribe to my newsletter, please subscribe to this channel, share, sharing is caring, so share those videos with your friends, with your family, colleagues, people that might be interested. Uh, I will do a, another video very, very soon. I just wanted to, because somebody asked me now on Facebook, how do I practice uh, expanding my tone on those valves? Uh, so this is a way how you can. Uh, take care. I'll see you soon. Have a good day. Ciao.